Is your adorable new puppy turning in your home into a disaster zone? Between the shredded shoes and those midnight zooies, you might be wondering if you've adopted a furry tornado instead of a dog. Don't panic. Every puppy parent has been exactly where you are. I've got your back with the five essential lessons your pup needs to master right now. These game-changing basics will transform your little chaos machine into a well-behaved companion. Let's turn those puppy problems into tail-wagging triumphs. Before you can teach your puppy anything else, they need to know their name. That's the very first step in training. Let's dive in and get started with step one, name recognition. The first thing your puppy needs to learn is their name. It's the foundation of all other training because once they know their name, you'll be able to get their attention in any situation. How to start. Begin by saying their name in a happy, upbeat voice when they're calm or distracted. As soon as they look at you, reward them with a treat or lots of praise. This helps your puppy associate their name with something positive. Practicing name recognition in different settings. Start indoors where there are fewer distractions. Call your puppy's name and reward them for looking at you. Then move to the backyard or a quiet outdoor space and do the same thing. The goal is to get them to respond to their name no matter what's going on around you. Adding fun to name training the name game. Once they get the hang of it, make training fun with the name game. Sit across the room for, from your puppy and call their name. When they come to you, reward them with a treat or a toy. Get other family members involved so they learn to respond to their name from different people and locations. Using meal time for training. You can also use meal time to reinforce their name. Before placing their food down, food bowl down, say their name and wait until they look at you. Over time, they'll associate their name with positive rewards like what to do if they don't respond. If your puppy doesn't respond to their name right away, don't get discouraged. Make sure your tone is happy and try moving closer. If needed, use a treat to grab their attention. Once they respond, give them lots of praise. Extra tips. Avoid using their name to scold them. You want, the, you want their name to mean good things, not negative ones. Keep training sessions short and fun. Puppies have short attention spans, so it's better to train them in short bursts like 5 to 10 minutes. Now that your puppy knows their name, you've got their attention when you need it. Let's move on to one of the most important parts of puppy training, house training. Step number two, house training. Potty training is one of the most important things to teach your puppy, and it can be a challenge, but with patience and consistency, your puppy will learn where to go. Setting a routine. Puppies need to go often, so take them outside every two to three hours especially after meals, naps, and playtime. Always take them to the same spot outside and use a command like go potty to let them know what you expect. Rewarding good behavior. When your puppy goes in the right spot, reward them with treats and praise immediately. This helps them understand that going outside is a good thing. Dealing with accidents are part of the process, especially in the beginning. If your puppy has an accident, don't punish them. Stay calm, clean up, and try to catch them next time. If you see them starting to squat, pick them up quickly and take them outside. Extra tips for success. Make sure to use a cleaner design to remove pet odors from accidents. If your puppy can smell where they went before, they might go there again. You also need to keep con a consistent schedule. Puppies thrive on routine. What if you're not home? If you're at work or can't take them out every few hours, set up a playpen with pee pads in one corner. 
The rest of the pen should have their bed, food, and toys. Puppies don't like to go where they sleep, so they'll use the pee pad if they need to. You can also hire a dog walker or a pet sitter to come by during the day for potty breaks. If that's not an option, ask a friend or neighbor to help out. Potty log for consistency. Your puppy is starting to learn where to go, but what do you do when you can't watch them every second? That's where crate training comes in. Crate training is essential for house training and keeping your puppy safe when you're not watching them. But it's important to introduce the crate properly so your puppy sees it as a safe and comfortable place. Introducing the crate. Make the crate inviting by putting a soft blanket, toys, and even a treat inside. Leave the door open and let your puppy explore the crate on their own. The goal is for them to feel comfortable going in and out freely. Gradually increase crate time. Once your puppy is comfortable going in, start closing the door for short periods while you're nearby. Gradually increase the time they spend in the crate as they get more used to it. Extra tips for crate training. Make sure the crate is the right size. Big enough for your puppy to stand up and turn around, but not too big. You don't want them to have room to go potty on one side and sleep on the other. Now that your puppy has a safe and cozy space to relax in, it's time to teach them some basic commands that will help with good manners and safety. Step four, teaching your puppy basic commands like sit, stay, come, and leave it will help them learn good manners and keep them safe. So how to teach sit, hold a treat close to your puppy's nose and slowly move it above their head. As their head tilts up, their bottom will naturally lower to the ground. As soon as they sit, say sit and give them the treat. Practice sit in different environments, indoors, outdoors, and even on walks. The more places you practice, the better your puppy will understand the command. Stay, stay. Once your puppy knows how to sit, you can teach stay. Have your puppy sit, then raise your hand like a stop sign and say stay. Take one step back and if they don't move, reward them. Gradually increase the distance for the stay. Building strong, strong stays. Slowly increase the difficulty by stepping farther away or adding distractions like having someone walk by or placing toys nearby. Always reward your puppy when they stay. Little lady, come. Teaching come is essential for your puppy's safety. Start by calling their name and saying come in a happy tone. When they run to you, give them a treat. Practice this in different environments and with distractions. The lady. Games to reinforce commands. Play recall games like hide and seek. Hide in different rooms, call your puppy, and reward them when they find you. This keeps training fun and reinforces the come command. Leave it is a crucial command for keeping your puppy safe. Start by holding a treat in your hand. Show it to your puppy and say, leave it. When they stop trying to get it, reward them with a different treat. Actually, practice with a better treat than the one that you asked them to leave. Practice in real life situations. When your puppy understands the basics of leave it, use it during walks or when they're around objects they shouldn't touch. Practice with toys, foods, or even things they found outside, like sticks or trash. Extra tips for commands. Keep training sessions short, just five to 10 minutes at a time, and always end on a positive note. Use hand signals with your commands to reinforce learning, especially in noisy or distracting environments. With these basic commands under their belt, your puppy is starting to understand what you expect. But there's one more crucial thing every puppy needs, socialization. Step five, socialization. Socializing your puppy is one of the most important things you can do. 
the more they're exposed to new people, animals, and environments while they're young, the more confident and well-behaved they'll be as adults. Introducing your puppy to a few new people at a time. Have guests give your puppy treats so they associate meeting new people with positive experiences. It's also important to expose your puppy to people of all ages, adult, ki adults, kids, and even people in hats, uniforms, or with beards. This helps prevent fear or anxiety later on. Socializing with other dogs. Make sure your puppy meets other well-socialized dogs in a controlled environment, environment like a friend's house or a puppy socialization class. Let your puppy approach and sniff the other dog at their own pace. Exploring new environments. Take your puppy to different places like parks, busy streets, or pet-friendly stores. The more they experience, the better they adjust to new situations. Start in, a quieter, start in quieter areas, then slowly introduce busier environment. Right, little lady. Spoke puppy to different sounds and surfaces. Help your puppy get used to different sounds, like traffic, vacuum cleaners, and thunderstorms. Play recordings at a low volume and reward them for staying calm. Let your puppy walk on different surfaces, like grass, concrete, sand, and even water. This builds their confidence and helps them handle new touch. Extra tips for socialization. Puppy socialization classes are a great way to safely introduce your puppy to other dogs, to other dogs and new people. These controlled environments help build confidence and teach your puppy how to behave around others. But what if you have both dog and, dogs and cats? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Check out my next video, 10 Proven Tips to Raise Dogs and Cats Peacefully. This is where I'll show you how to make sure your puppy and cat can live happily together. So there you have it. The first five things to teach any puppy. These aren't just tricks. They're the keys to raising a well-behaved and happy dog. Got a new puppy? Let me know in the comments which training tip you're working on first. And don't forget to subscribe for more puppy training tips.